What's up everyone, it's J Reef by the Sea here and I hope you're having an awesome day. So today I wanted to share what accessories I use with my iPhone 12 Pro for filming and vlogging. I always find it helpful when other content creators share what they use since there's so many options out there. I wanted to show you and hope this video gives you some guidance. If you are interested in any of these items, I've provided direct links in the description below. Please note that they are affiliated links, but they do help my small channel out. So what accessories do I recommend? Well, let's go find out. Mobile phones have come a long way, and as they say, the best camera is the one that's with you. The HD quality of pictures and videos that mobile phones produce are amazing. I can't even remember the last time we took our DSLR with us on a trip. Don't get me wrong, you still get better images and videos with a DSLR, but the convenience of a mobile phone is hard to beat. I just got an iPhone 12 Pro with 128 gigabytes of storage, so I'm excited to start filming with it. Definitely a nice upgrade from my old iPhone XR. The images and 4K videos that this iPhone 12 can produce are really impressive. What I love about the iPhone is you get three lenses, wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto. The ability to shoot in Dolby Vision HDR is also a welcomed bonus. I'm not gonna dive into the tech specs of this phone because there are already a ton of great reviews on YouTube. The only time I vlog is when my wife and I are traveling. I'm pretty new to vlogging, so I always find it weird pointing a camera at myself and talking. When traveling, I always end up using my GoPro because it's light, durable, waterproof, dustproof, and the field of view is wide so you're always in frame, well at least 99% of the time. Now that I have the iPhone 12 Pro with an ample amount of storage, I wanted to start using it to film and practice vlogging. I plan on capturing those everyday moments and events since my iPhone is always with me. Here are the products for my current setup. The first accessory that I wanted to talk about is the Ulanzi Select MT-08 Mini Smartphone Selfie Stick Tripod. It's an affordable, lightweight, and small smartphone selfie stick. It weighs in at 0.002 pounds, and when folded, the length is 5.9 inches. It has a two-in-one design. It can be a tripod stand or a selfie stick. The MT-08 has a small 360-degree adjustable ball head with a quarter screw and an S-type knob for locking and unlocking the ball head. It's a nice feature to have to get those perfect angles. It also has a mini extension pole that has three level extension points. When fully extended, the length is 10.6 inches. The handle slash tripod has a leather feel to it, which provides a better grip. While using it in tripod mode, it has a non-slip silicone coating on the bottom for that extra grip on surfaces. The build quality feels a little cheap, but for the price point, size, and weight, it's perfect for my needs. The load bearing weight is about four pounds and seven ounces, and I've mounted my iPhone 12 Pro, GoPro, and Sony ZV-1 with no issues. The second accessory for my setup is the Ulanzi ST-08 Wireless Go Phone Tripod Mount. I picked this model up because it's designed to house the Rode Wireless Go microphone receiver. If you ever viewed any of my travel videos, you will notice that the Rode Wireless Go microphone is my go-to for audio. I'm starting to use it for most of my talking head videos because it's easy to set up and audio quality is really good. It has a special mount for the Rode Wireless Go receiver, which is placed on the front of the tripod mount. It's right here. And let's go ahead and do an example. It is made out of a solid aluminum alloy and it's coated with a hard anodized matte black finish. The quality is nice and it's quite heavy for the size, weighing in at 0 0.063 pounds. It is equipped with an adjustable clamp that utilizes a loosening and tightening knob, which is super easy to use. It securely locks your phone in place.
On top is a universal cold shoe mount. You can mount a small LED light or a different microphone like the Rode Video Micro. It has a quarter screw on the bottom for traditional horizontal mounting. It also has a quarter screw on the side that supports portrait shooting so that you can mount your phone vertical for those TikTok or Instagram videos and pics. The final item for my setup is a Rode SC-7 3.5mm TRS to TRRS patch cable. If you've ever tried plugging in a regular microphone connector directly into your mobile phone or through a 3.5 headphone jack adapter, you notice it will not work. You need a special TRRS connector for it to work. The best way to simplify which connector goes where is this. TRS has two black lines and that end goes into your standard 3.5mm connector. TRRS has three black lines and that end goes into your mobile device. This is where the SC-7 comes in. It is a high quality shielded patch cable which is consistent with Rode's lines of products. There are slightly cheaper third party patch cables but for a couple more dollars, I decided to go with the SC-7. That way it'll be 100% compatible with the Rode Wireless Go. The great thing is the patch cable is color coded. The gray end goes into the phone or for me it plugs into the lightning adapter and the black end goes into your microphone or Rode Wireless Go receiver. I've been very happy with this setup. It's affordable, small, lightweight, and discreet. After watching this video, I hope it gives you a good starting point since there are so many products and accessories out there. Thanks again for taking time out of your day to watch this video. It's much appreciated. Take care, enjoy your day, and go out there and create some content.